Hey everyone, Adam Bornstein here from Born Fitness, and today I'm gonna to tell you not to do barbell squats. What? Yeah, it's true. We're gonna use the dumbbell, do something called the goblet squat, and you'll see why in a moment. We have Shalisa here, who is a master of the goblet squat, and here's why. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna hold it against your chest. You're gonna drive your elbows into the side of your ribcage. That activates your back. What does this do? It makes it less likely that you're gonna lean forward. A lot of people, when you have the weight on your back, you lean forward and you hurt your back. Have you ever squatted and hurt your back? Yeah, that's not gonna be an issue with the goblet squats. Also what happens by having the weight in front of you, it makes it easier for you to do the squat motion, which is squatting straight down without your knees collapsing in. And here's why, when you have the weight right there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have three points of contact with your feet, the outside of your foot, the ball of your foot, and in the heel. And before you squat down, I want you to imagine that you're standing on two paper plates and you want to tear those apart. That's gonna activate your glutes because you're not thinking about a weight on your back. You then squat down, pressing your knees out, and then you press up through your heel, and you can just do it again. And as you watch this, look at this. No back pain, no knee pain. You can go pretty heavy with this. And if you struggle with the idea of separating your knees, one very easy tip, use a band. Happen to have one right here. Put it just above your knees, and this will give you a physical cue to make sure that you are pressing your knees out so that you have none of that knee pain, none of that back pain, and all of the squat effectiveness.